Hello and welcome to another week of previews and this week we are on week five I think and we got a special drop we got two additional maps on top of the ones that just released like I don't know half an hour ago we got them on Instagram and this coach is everything the blue eyes the horns the outfit everything about her is super fierce also can we talk about the fact that her name is Spike and actually sorry spikes just multiple not just one and she's a demon and she's gonna take her, us through her realm in not one but two styles so we got two choreographies for her which are unfortunately muted for the reasons i assume like licensing issues they have there which is fine i don't i don't particularly mind that i like that they still gave them to us and let people you know, guess what the song is. If you can read uh, lips pretty well, which people did in the comments, and this looks like Town Red. And I'm like, what? That song? It's like, bitch, I said what I said. So what is it going to be? Friend, I said what I said. I'm interested to see how they muted it and made it, you know, child friendly. But the fact that we're getting her in both routines is pretty unique. So far, we've not seen that. This is, I think, our first extreme this season this entire season we've had 40 percent kid songs and some normal classic routines not a single extreme inside to my memory i think so this is the first one i'm really excited really really excited she is fierce she looks like a real life human it's a very weird style of how to put it i'm really confused it's like a different style of art that she looks a bit like the Madonna Vogue uh, ballroom version. It, it's like she's not a coach. It's like she's a real human, but also she's a demon. But also she's like, great. I just, yeah. I don't know if I want to be her or want to be with her. Like, I'm, I'm getting, like, confused in pansexual. But this is going to be a, a, a trend as we move on to our next T's coach, which is Juju in her... Ikea outfit. The cho the choreo looks amazing and I'm happy that it's her. I can't wait to, to hear it with the music. I like that Just Dance gave them to us both both of the choreographies without the music even though they had licensing issues. I think in the past they would just hold the entire choreography until they clear them out. I like this. It feels like we got more content than we should have. It feels like we're you kind of been let in the background of what's happening and you know just kind of be more open and sharing about issues that they experience with licensing deals and stuff and i kind of have to say it it's tough to be a business and not work ahead if you worked any corporate jobs you would know that a lot of companies work on risk Nothing gets done if we all wait for everything to be greenlit and checkboxed. And I'm sure it's the same for Ubisoft. So, fingers crossed, let's all pray that we <laughs> hit the town, paint the town red really, really soon in two weeks and the game launches. Can you imagine? It's like two or three weeks from now. <sighs> Super happy with this one. The next one is... Chat... Chat... Chata... I feel bad. I feel bad I can't pronounce this. Chatahoochee? By Alan Jackson? Wait, is that an actual song? I thought that was some sort of... Uh, I'm confused. Chattahoochee. Okay, sure. Never seen this. I don't know what it is. Is this a use of creation? We'll see. Oh god, I'm seeing something else suggested. <laughs> um, first impressions. I think these are reused coaches. So the second coach is from... Oh, what was the name of it? Corey goes like that. I don't, I don't remember. Is she meant to be... Connacho? No, I don't think so. I think she's from the quartet. She's player one from a quartet. Player three... Looks like Gideona, player four looks like here comes the hot stepper. And player one looks like should be on drag race. Like she looks great. I'm excited. 
<laughs> this is the same saloon. This is the same saloon from uh, the Taylor Swift songs. So I'm just trying to look for clues in the background. This horses. The saloon sign is here. Pumpkins as well. A rocking horse. I <laughs> <laughs> this floor part, Jesus. Okay, honestly, I, I don't know what I expected here. It, I guess it's a real song. Um, no, uh, Ubisoft creation. I don't know who Alan Jackson is, but... Okay, country. Okay, country. Get that gator. <laughs> I, just, I don't know. It's fine. I, uh, it's okay. It's okay. It doesn't look that great. I'm not attracted to it. Like, intensely. I'm not too sure what's going on with the outfits. They look a little bit basic. They look like a mix between... Uh, I don't know. Bomaye from 2023. And especially Player 4 over here. It looks like... Get, get down, 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 down. I don't think it's a troll. But it's funny. So people maybe would like that. I guess we haven't had a country song in a while. So... Good to have them back. I guess. I don't have much more to say about this. Not much floor in the back. Maybe something will happen. We are here. Ooh! Pink Venom by Blackpink. Okay. Disclaimer. No, my favorite Blackpink song. People went insane when it came out. I think it has a choreography that hopefully they have followed. Because otherwise we're going to disappoint stans. But also, K-pop song number one! We finally got to it! Week number five of previews and we got our K-pop song number one. And I remember complaining about this like last year and the year before that literally it was okay K-pop song number 87 this year. The first K-pop song and it's a banger. It's very desirable. The map is not buying me right now. Like the thumbnail I mean, but let's watch it. It's like, is that pink venom? Is that pink venom? Get him, get him, get him. A bit. Oh! Oh, it's the ladies from Bumbaya. They're just reimagined. This is Wister again. They're cute. Get him, get him, get him. This looks a bit easy. It looks too easy to be a, an official court, but it might be. I don't know. I'm not too versed. <laughs> I'm just looking in the background. It seems like they broke their transformers because in Bumbaya they had transformers in the background for each one. You had the, the panda, the lizard, the cheetah, and then the owl or eagle, whatever she is. So they seem to have broken them, and they're just kind of sigh in a pile in the back. And we get the part where my coach, the the leopard lady, is is singing, and then the panda lady is. Yeah, this looks a bit too easy. I hope we're not angering the stands, <laughs> but I also don't know. I'm not against it being too easy. I actually quite liked it this way because there are K-pop dances that I do not participate in this year because uh, they're too hard and they're easy versions, which is boring. So I think this is quite nice and accessible and hopefully people will like it. But I, if it's not official, we always might get an issue. At least I hope it's official inspired. I think my favorite one is player four. I think she looks the best. The rest are, are, are okay as well. But yeah, again, Wisteria, familiar characters, just reimagined, which is okay, I'm good with that. The song's super popular, or at least it was. People will love it. Hope there's no issues with the originality of the dance itself. For me, it's good. Hopefully it's good for most people. Um, oh, Jack Harlow's loving on me. The actual version that looks like Jack Harlow now. Okay, I... Disagree. The original version is the cow. We love the cow. And I I wouldn't accept this. This needs to blow my mind for it to be worse than the cow. Or better, actually. I'm excited for this. I love the song and I have a feeling I'm the only one who does. So, uh, watch me love this. <laughs> Loving on me. Oh, look at his face. Eh! 
It's so smooth and groovy. Whip your loving on me, baby. Whip your loving on me. I'm vanilla, baby. I'll choke you for that and I'll kill a baby. She 28, close me and still a baby. Okay, I did. Okay, 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 okay. Again, uh, there was so much. The background is perfect because it is not distracting from the coach. From this coach, I'm getting the same vibe and style as from Exus. I don't know why. I, th I think it looks like the the choreographer of Excess or P1 from uh, Boys Are Layer, Boys Are Layer, that one. It kind of looks like him. I think it is. Maybe I don't know why they are the same colors. They look they look like they're aligned with Excess. I think they're connected. I think they're connected. <laughs> uh, what are those? What are those? Uh, cassettes? Video cassettes? I actually like the core. I think the core is cute. I'm not too keen on the goatee. I think the goatee is, is is kind of throwing me off a little bit. But I I like the outfit and I like the dance. And the coach is having a great time. That's a core you would expect from a song like that. Still though, I don't think it's better than the Moo version. I think the Moo version has everything. <laughs> no, I, I still like this. I actually quite like it for a, a straight guy choreo or, you know, just guy choreo is very like, I wouldn't say it's quite manly, but he's really smooth and it looks like he's having a good time, which I'm, I'm on board with. Still cow, cow wins for me. I couldn't tell what dance verses he meant to be from. I mean, it's dance city, especially if he's connected to Jennifer somehow. I approve. I like this, still though the cow takes it for me. So I'm very excited for the next one because I kind of glimpsed that it's it's Sweet Melody and people guessed that, people guessed it's Sweet Melody. I thought it was gonna be Power, but it's no Power, it's Sweet Melody by Little Mix. And she, she, I had to withhold jokes yesterday about riding and how she rides bikes and my ability to be a vehicle. So, you know, the rest you can kind of guess. Our Queen Juju with the IKEA outfit combo. Amazing. I can't wait to see it. Ooh. Ah! Slay Mom! Ah! Oh my god, this is everything. I have been served. distracting me he's literally been, been brought food randomly oh my god what the hell how good was this mother mother is mothering can she mother me i'll mother her instead jesus christ this is all i've been wanting in life this hits every single box i love the background again the background is is beautiful but it's not distracting there's not like a million and one things going on, so you purely get to focus on her. What's her name? I don't know. So far, I'll call her Ikea. I love her to bits. The choreo served like no tomorrow. It's exactly what you expect from first her, and secondly, the song as well. I'm deceased. Houston, deceased. I am deceased. This was brilliant. This is great. This is my favorite one so far. I don't know if this is my favorite choreo all year. Jesus. Whenever was amazing, but I think I like this better. I think I like this better. Oh my god, this was so good. Nothing in the background suggesting any type of lore that I'm familiar with. We've been told she's not related to Shadow Rider, even though we love those colors. There's a bunch of bikes in the back. I assume she's gonna get on one of them eventually. Sweet Melodies is a song so overdue in Just Dance. 
I love the choreography. Juju stays performances as usual. You expect nothing less from her, but it's good to mention because not every coach lives the choreographies that they perform. And Juju is one of the amazing examples of that. I love the IKEA outfit. I'm sorry, whomever created it. I don't mean it in a bad way at all. I love it. I think it's great. Absolutely love this chest kind of what is it corset piece oh so beautiful just everything everything and more that's it that's mine that i i don't need anything else with this my game's complete now we got the cable <laughs> we got mother that's it i'm i'm happy we got paint the town red mothers all mothers today i'm so excited okay that is just asking 25 in the shadows by the Erasmus. Do we know this song? This coach looks scary. Okay, I, I don't know this. Oh, this song. Okay, okay. That's Potion Alley. Okay. Uh, uh. Ooh, lots going on. I I really actually like this coach. I like the outfit. I think they're inspired by a crow. Uh, we are in Potion Alley, but it looks different. We already have two choreographies in Potion Alley. Uh, obviously, we have Boss Witch and then uh, our mother, Felicia the cat with Bloody Mary. So this is the third choreography that is happening in Potion Alley. We know the Potion Alley is also a place where other witches and creatures of the night can be. This is Eternix, 100%. This character looks Eternix. On the floor, you see some inscription and in writing, which is reminiscent of, of magic or trapping. If you're much into like that kind of lore, it's reminiscent of like trapping someone inside uh, a, a space and I have a suspicion that the dance also reflects of that I thought for a second that he was trying or they were trying to portray uh, being puppeteered but I think they're trying to portray perhaps not being able to escape so push up push down okay I think that's what the story is Oh, maybe, maybe they are being puppeteered. I'm not too sure. I'm looking at the background behind him and the crow has landed on the cat's face. So this is Potion Alley, but it's leading to the witch's manor, which the entrance through was through the mouth of the cat. But now there's different structures on top of it. And it looks like they have been taken over by the crow, perhaps. There's also a very cl big close-up to a crow at the very start of uh, Boss Witch. Might be him, they, whomever. I do like this. I like the the puppeteering aspect. They do like isolation. Uh, the shadows um, behind the coach, the outline is shadows, which is unusual. I think the last time we saw an outline like that of a coach, it was around Mother Night Swan as she was gathering flow to go and take over the dance verses. Maybe that could be one of the minions uh, of Mother or they could be completely unrelated. I like the outfit. Um, I think it's really cool. I think it fits. It's really interesting to have such color green hair. I don't remember anyone having green hair like that. I'm sure there will be someone, but I think it's interesting. The mask looks fun. I reckon Molo will come at the start and in the end of the map just to kind of link together Felicia and Boss Witch. I think the song is very creative. The chorus is creative. The coach is new. The background is reused, but it's reused for a reason. And it has been not only subtly improved, but actually aligned to the current dance and the feel and the vibe. So I'm, I'm quite liking this. I think it's pretty good. Okay, maybe the only criticism I have is that there's only really been two moves all map. I would like to see a bit more of a variety in the moves. It does have a lot to focus on in the background, so the choreography kind of stays behind. 
But the more you watch it, the more you realize it's kind of like a few moves going on. Maybe something more complex down the line that would make this map kind of stand out more for me. But it's already a, it's already a pretty good standout. One more, I think. Oh, God. Mm. Creepy Uncle's back! With whenever, whenever. Oh, my God. Why? Just... Oh, Jesus, okay. I am not surprised. This is what the alternative of Whenever Wherever is by Shakira. They usually do something stupid with Shakira alternatives. Uh, Hips Don't Lie has a sumo version, which is ridiculous. His name is Wooly. Don't know why. I don't know if I preferred him like that or when it was a bit darker. Let's watch it. <laughs> Look at his mouth. The eyes. The mouth is making me uncomfortable. Oh God. Yeah, this analogy I used on the last song, this is more creepy uncle vibes actually than the move your body from before because it's daytime and it's clearly in a children's room and it's like a kid's birthday party and then you have Uncle Bob as Kay <laughs> called him. Uncle Bob come in, he's just making all these like inappropriate moves and faces and mouths and you're just like looking at Uncle Bob and it's like, Uncle Bob, please, please don't. It's like a half secondhand embarrassment. I d there's a degree of cringe I'm feeling that... Uh, I'm really hoping this feels good to do because I'm not feeling it right now. Same as movie body, Uncle Bob, Wooly, whatever. I just... I understand why this is here and I get the gag with making stupid versions of, of very popular songs. But why again another coach, like the same coach within the same game doing two choreographies that are both in the exact same vein? Like I just, I don't know. I don't know. Not my thing. I thought at least the choreography was better than <laughs> Movie Body, so... Uh. The visual is a little bit creepier because before it was darker, so I couldn't quite see. But now the dancing condom's back and uh, he's much more clear to see. And it's just the color, the color choices and his face and the mouth and the way everything moves and fits together. I just, I don't know. I just feel uncomfortable. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's let's move on because I might need a mental health the day after they let's go and order them. So for the first one, I think I'm gonna put sweet melodies because I felt like this was one of the greatest choreographies and maps I've seen in a while and it was just the simplicity of it was great. I loved everything about it. Secondly, we're gonna put Paint the Town Red from Just Dance Instagram account because we know it's Paint Paint the Town Red. I would then go Loving On Me by Jack Carlo. Still the cow's better, but I quite enjoyed the vibe that this guy's putting off. And I think it is maybe P1, uh, Boy's a Liar. We'll put in the shadows after because I like the creativity here and I want to find out more. There's a lot of lore that needs to be explored. After that, we'll put Pink Venom. I have a concern that people might dislike the degree of difficulty, just generically speaking, but for me, it looks pretty good. I'm not too convinced on the outfit, especially on the coach that I usually would do, but I'm sure it will be a good addition. Hopefully, we're not going to forget about it too quickly. Then we'll put Chata Uchi. Miha? I don't know what else to say. And then lastly, it would be uh, a dancing condom Uncle Bob. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching this week. Um, come on Twitch where I stream two times a week, usually Saturday and Sunday, where we'll get to do the previews and see whether Whenever Whatever by Uncle Condom is going to feel any good. This Instagram, Twitter, 
Discord if you want to come and chat. And yeah, subscribe here. Like, comment. What do you think of all of these things? <laughs> this is scary. He's looking, he's looking at me. He's looking. I don't like it. I can see his eyes tracing me. I don't like it. I don't like it. Help. Okay, bye. <laughs>